to tell me about the people here at Medivante. Who are they? When they come to these events, what do they like to talk about? What do they do all day long? And here's the email I get back. It says, well, we offer retail and commercial CRM, BIC, CMS, EFT, CFS, RPS, and DES-capable ATMs. So basically all I know about this group is that apparently you stopped using complete words years ago. Is that right? <laughs> What's a typical day for you folks? I'll put it in your language. I figure what, you probably get up in the AM after night of R&R, &R, take off your PJs, drink some OJ, get to work ASAP, right? <laughs> All day long you sit at your PCs dreaming up BS to impress the heck out of those BISIS and FISERV and check-free SOBs, right? And, uh, <laughs> Twenty years you'll make VP of R&D. <laughs> You go home with a PM, what do you do? Well, you stop at an ATM, you punch in your PIN, you grab a C note. You go home, your kids say, what's for dinner? You say, if I hear one more FAQ, your kids are going to be SOL. <laughs> they got to eat, right? So what do you do? You hop into your BMW, your SUV, you drive to KFC, you get them a little dinner. <laughs> they come home, they eat dinner, you sit around your BVDs, drink an MGD and watch an HBO, CNN, MTV, and VH1 before taping ER and CSI and the VCR and catching some Zs. That's your life. Is that right, folks? That's the way it works? That's, that's it right there. Today you've scheduled a joint organizational messaging tactical working group and DRSN security accreditation and information assurance update training, and you've scheduled that in the same day? <laughs> People, spread the fun out, all right? <laughs> this is a multi-day conference, pace yourselves. <laughs> Everybody out here that we're a fun group, we're not afraid to laugh at ourselves. Don't be afraid to poke a little good-natured fun at DISA, who we are, and the things that we do. I said, that's great. Who are you, and what exactly um, is it that you do? They said, well, quite simply, Greg, we're a combat support agency charged with planning, engineering, acquiring, fielding, and servicing global net-centric operations for all components of the DOD in times of peace and war. And, uh, you know... <laughs> And of course, you know, once you hear something like that, woo, the jokes write themselves now, don't they, folks? I'm a corporate comedian. I work for people like you. I don't tell jokes. I initiate a project action plan by leveraging my core competencies, which enables me to tell best-in-class, out-of-the-box, well-positioned jokes, which forms a synergistic alliance, creates a paradigm shift, and eventually enables me to empower the entire enterprise. So, um, yeah. Of all the elements in place to have a successful conference, you need several of them, and I've seen most of them as I've been just observing what's been going on. Uh, I think the first thing you need is to have a great location. And I think we're all in agreement that you just can't beat Schaumburg, Illinois in December. <laughs> Need I remind you people you are no longer in chapter 11? Have you ever remembered that? <laughs> Open the purse strings a little bit, huh? <laughs> I can tell you've had a great year right when I walked into this room. You know how? Because I can tell, first of all, look at, look at this event, okay? You've got a beautiful resort right here in Tempe. You had this great meal. I mean, those things, those things cost money, okay? And who knows? I mean, you guys keep working as hard as you can, and maybe you'll come back next year, and maybe you can spend a little more money on something like, oh, I don't know, props. Um, I mean, an iPod for Christmas holds 20,000 songs, which is good, because you know, next time I'm taking a trip to, oh, I don't know, the sun. Um, oh, God forbid I would hear the same song twice. <laughs> What do you do when you have a problem, when you have a question about your computer? What do you do? You ask a kid. <laughs> ask a little kid. That's why my wife and I had a kid in the first place. If you are wearing one of those um, attached-to-the-ear, pointy-eared, Bluetooth wireless devices, if you could please take that off. Um, it doesn't mess up my show. You just look kind of stupid. So if you could just... Um, <laughs> Remove. <laughs>
I don't understand what you guys do. And they said, well, don't worry about that, Greg. Yes, we know it's complicated, but we work with PowerPoint a lot, and we'll be more than happy to send you some PowerPoint presentations, um, and that should explain things to you. So uh, first of all, I just want to say I'm uh, very happy that uh, Citrix chose to, you know, make it so incredibly easy for me to understand. I was uh, nervous that I might not get it, but luckily it's starting to make sense now. Uh, that one especially, I think, and uh, you know, these are the kind of things that I really need to know. But um, uh, now, I, I don't totally agree with that one, but... Um... Questions link on external certification authority. Uh, let's take a look at one of those questions, if we could. My question concerns why web servers need to be configured to accept certificates issued by ECAs. I realize that DOD private web servers providing access to DOD sensitive information except those protecting access to personal information by information privileged individuals shall be PK enabled to rely on certificates for client authentication issued by DOD approved PKIs. Does this mean that certificates issued by ECA CAs must be approved by ASD? <laughs> you want to know what's scary? That's a frequently asked question. <laughs>